show you a law that's in the Bible. Let me show you one law in the Bible. That, that we can change today. We start out with the laws that we can physically change within ourselves right away. So I want to show you one. Give me this. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So God told the children of Israel that they, not, they shall not make baldness upon their head. What? This is a commandment. That's yes. right. Because we got these things when we are in Egypt during the Egyptian captivity. Right. So it says, Thou shalt make, thou shalt not make baldness upon your head. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So God instructs us not to shave off our beard. Our beard is a sign of manly dignity. Right. This is our badge of honor right here. Right. So we are commanded by God not to shave off our beard. You understand what I'm saying? So from here on up, brother, you, do you understand? You, you, you believe in God? Give me Sirach chapter 32, verse 24. So let's see. Because people say they believe, but it's believer is an action word, right? Because if you believe I'm, you want to be a doctor, you have to take the classes, you have to study, you have to go through a lot of different rigorous courses in order to become that. Right. So you, in order to believe that thing, you had to put a lot of work in to get to that point. Right. So read what you got. Sirach chapter 32 and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord. So he that believeth in the Lord, read. Taketh heed to the commandment. Listens to the commandment. Does the commandment. Right. Right. These are the people that believe in the Lord. Right. Read. And he that trusteth in him. And he that trusteth. If I trust in God and say, you know what? He said, I, I can't shave my hair. Or I can't uh, shave my face, shave my beard off. You got to trust that thing. Because God knows what's best for you, right? right? He didn't put words in the Bible for us not to do what it says. Right. That doesn't make any sense. I really take heed, brother, for God in my plot. That's why you. All right, brother. So look, are you going to take heed to that commandment, though? So the next time we see you, you're going to have a beard on your face. Okay, I'll pray. And no shaving head. So, like I said, we're going into the commandments, brother. So let's make sure that you take heed to it. Read what you got. Finish reading it. That's it. He that believeth right, in the Lord. All right, like I said, you got any more questions, call that number on the back. I appreciate it. All right. All right, so, my brother, so let, let me get a couple. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. So I want to, if you listen, I want to get one more. So just to bring it all the way home that we the Israelites, I want to bring it all the way home. So without a shadow of a doubt, you know you were Israelite according to the Bible. Because of, what, because of what our people went through. Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he said, the Lord shall bring us into Egypt again with ships. So, I want to, what do you think the word Egypt means? Home. Okay. Let, well, we're going to see what home is. But get, let's read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he said he's going to bring us into Egypt. We're going to show you what the word Egypt means because the Bible explains itself. Right. The Bible, we got to go precept upon precept. Right. So that means we got to go to different parts of the Bible to explain what we're reading sometimes. Right. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it up. I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt and the house of bondage means the same thing. Was it not America a house of bondage for us? So that's what that's going into. He said, I'm going to bring you into bondage again. I'm going to bring you into slavery again. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with ships. So how did we get over here, Deuteronomy? With ships. Right. It's, it's self-explanatory. So you're picking up real good all phrases, man. It's that simple. We were brought over here on ships. He, he wrote this so we'd be able to know, identify who we are today. Right. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So he's saying we're not going to see our homeland no more again. So it's going to just, I'm going to tell you what our homeland is. Give me Galatians oh. chapter 4, verse 26. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Right. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Right. That is our homeland. Right. That's where we originate from. That's where the Garden of Eden was. That's, right. That's where we came from. We migrated into 
Africa, but we originated from Israel. What? That is our country. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You know and there you want to be sold. It says, I'm going to bring you into a land with ships, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Were well, we not sold to our enemies here? Say, to, to Master Charles, to you know. Johnson. So that is part of our history as well. We was, the Arab patterns of slavery, we've been, we basically built up this whole world. Right. By not following what the Bible says. Right. Right. All the lands, everything we built up. We built up China, all these different places, America, Britain, all these different lands because we disobeyed God because we're supposed to be on top. We're supposed to be at the top, but we at the bottom because we disobeyed God. Read. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So it says for slave men and slave women, and nobody gonna buy you. Saying nobody gonna redeem us out of this out of this captivity. What? Nobody gonna be able to save us. Malcolm X, he couldn't save us. Martin Luther King, he couldn't save us. Right. You know, none of these brothers could save us. What? Uh, Marcus Garvey, Bring it up. Obama. Nobody can save us from this captivity but Christ himself. No. That is what the situation is. And the reason, the way that we get out of this is we come back to God's law. Right. We start doing the things in this Bible that God instituted for us to do so we can identify ourselves different than everybody. Because when you think about it, when you see another black person, when you see a, even an Arab, when they first come over here, you can tell where they're from, right? When you see a Chinese man, when he come over here, you can tell where he came from. But us, we all look different. We, no, we have no culture. Right. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Because we have no culture. We lost all our heritage. Right. The things that we did, our marriage custom, the things that we ate, the things that we celebrate. We don't even do any of these things anymore because we, we, we lost our heritage. And that's prophesied in the Bible. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Read it and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So, any other people that you know of discontinue from their heritage like us? We the only ones that don't know our history. Right. We the only, you, you can name any, all the rest of the nations. We do not know our identity. We can't even go, far as we go back to our grandfather, most of us. Some of us don't even know our fault. Because this is a curse. Right. They can go all the way back to England, Whoa. all the way back to Britain, and be able to get their people to know where they came from. Right. We don't know any of this stuff. All that stuff was, dis was taken away from us during slavery. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So that's what we're doing. We serve our enemies to this day. Right. Because we disobey God. Right. That's, that's the fact of the matter. So do you, uh, you see yourself in this Bible? All praise it. So this, you are in this Bible. This is your history book. That's right. So we always want to know our history. But guess what? God made sure not only do we know our history, but the whole world know our history. Right. And it's in everybody's house. So because we're going to be judged, right? But he made sure that we had the, the book, the blueprint to be able to get out of this captivity. <laughs>